Hi everybody. I'm here today to talk with you a little bit about mindfulness. Now mindfulness is a word that you might have heard maybe in your family, maybe out in the world, maybe in your classroom. And sometimes people have a hard time putting their finger on it. Like what is mindfulness exactly? What, are you, what do you mean when you say mindfulness? And I think the most helpful explanation that I've heard about mindfulness is to be here now. Just those three words, be here now, means that we are fully present in the moment that we're experiencing and that we are consciously asking our brains to pay attention to what's going on right now, to be mindful of what we're seeing, what we're hearing, what we're feeling in any one given moment. Our brains are really, really good at asking us to think about what's coming next in the future. What's gonna happen after school? What's gonna happen tomorrow? What about this weekend? And our brains are also really good at throwing us back to the past. Like, oh my gosh, my brother was so annoying this morning. Or, um, you know, gosh, I wish I hadn't lost my soccer shoes. Mindfulness asks us to be here now in order for our brains to make better decisions and to feel better. In fact, brain scientists have been really interested in the practice of mindfulness. And as they've been researching, they've been discovering that practicing mindfulness means that we have an ability to make better decisions, that we can calm ourselves. And in so doing, guess what? This is amazing. Mindfulness and the practice of mindfulness can actually help us to have better health, more happiness, and to improve our relationships. I don't know anybody who doesn't want that. I wanna share a little bit about this book with you. It's called Masters of Mindfulness, and it was actually written by a fifth grade class of kids in California who've been practicing mindfulness and noticing how it helps them. I wanna start by just reading this one page to you. This page right here. It says, when we do mindfulness, it actually changes our brains and helps us to make wise choices. Brain scientists are really interested in mindfulness and they're doing a lot of research and finding out that mindfulness is great for our brains. That's why it can make us feel better when times are hard. And many of us are experiencing hard times right now. We sure certainly didn't expect that we would be starting this school year online. Teachers didn't expect it, students didn't expect it, families, parents didn't expect it, but here we are. Even though we thought we knew how things would go, there's been a major, major change in the way that our world operates. Our parents might be working from home. Our parents might have had a work change. Lots of things could be going on. And even in the midst of all of those changes, we still have options for how we absorb or adapt to those changes. And mindfulness is a super powerful way to use a strategy that helps us to adapt um, in a more healthy way. So what these kids have understood is that breathing is a super important way that we can learn to be here now. So I wanna lead you through a breath exercise. You can try it on your own. You can try it with your family. You can try it out when you're feeling upset by stuff that happened, things you couldn't control, things that are happening in your family, um, worries that you might have. And it goes like this. We're gonna take a moment just to breathe in and breathe out, but we're gonna do it consciously. I mean, breathing is what we do all day long every day, right? We don't think about it. But if we bring our attention to our breath, we find that we can make a positive impact and we can be here now. So let's try it. I'm gonna close my eyes because that's what I like to do when I'm practicing mindful breathing. 
you can keep your eyes open if you'd like. I'm gonna take a deep breath in through my nose and I'm gonna exhale through my mouth. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be thinking about what my breath feels like. I'm gonna be noticing that I'm breathing in and just noticing that I'm breathing out. Well, you might already be guessing that our brains are not that easily satisfied and we're gonna have interruptions in our breathing practice and we're gonna have thoughts that come into our brain that we didn't expect or maybe we did expect and, and here they are, they're just floating around. What do we do with those thoughts? We don't have to do anything with them at all because as you probably already know, thoughts come and they go and they come and they go and they thump and they go. Just like mind bubbles, they appear and then they pop. If you notice that you have thoughts that come into your breathing practice, that's okay. In fact, that's perfectly normal and we can't really ask our brains not to have those thoughts. But as you notice those thoughts come, just let them be there. You don't have to do a thing about them. Just bring your attention back to your breath. And bringing your attention back to your breath as you practice this mindful exercise will help you to feel calmer, more clear, and more ready to handle the decisions that are in front of you at any given time. The coolest thing is that we carry our breath with us all the time and we can use it like a tool whenever we want. All right, so breathe with me if you will. I like to close my eyes. I'm gonna breathe in deeply through my nose. And out through my mouth. I'm just noticing what is the quality of my breath? What does it feel like? Is it warm? Is it cool? Does it stay up here in my chest? Does it feel like it's here down in my belly? I'm gonna do it again. And another time. even in as few as three deep conscious breaths, I notice, and many people notice, that our body feels different. Our brain feels more clear, our body feels more calm, and we're ready to handle or face the feeling that we're having or the situation that we find ourselves in. So I challenge you, see what you can do about finding time and space to breathe when you're feeling those moments of stress. And when those mind bubbles come in, those thoughts come in, just acknowledge that they're there and bring your attention back to your breath. I hope that you find that this is a helpful tool as you navigate the changes in your world. Take care.